All right. So we have a new module on the admin beginner trail. It's called user engagement. So on this trail, we are going to talk about getting started with user engagement. So what is user engagement? Actually, what you are doing now with me is a form of a user engagement. I am engaging you and teaching you on how to use the Salesforce platform. Getting started with the whole Salesforce platform, right? So we can also help other users to know more and to help them on their daily task or if there is a new feature we introduce or roll out to help them out on how to actually use these new features every step of the way. So let's go through this. The art of user engagement scenario. So let me scroll down here. That's a example story that you can read through. So basically, to summarize, there are four basic scenarios in user engagement. We can help with onboarding. What is onboarding? So for example, a new person comes into your organization. If you're managing a school, a new teacher just joined in and you want to have this new teacher to know on how to use the Salesforce platform, right? How to give homeworks to students and so on. So. We go through the onboarding scenario, a new teacher, a new employee, a new volunteer. And so show users where to begin and what's new or change, what, where to begin. So what I'm doing right now with you is actually an extensive in-depth onboarding for you to go on board with the whole Salesforce platform. That is what I am doing actually right now. I am onboarding you to the Salesforce mothership, so to speak, right? So this onboarding um, um, example. Examples is first time in trial or new feature area, setting up a new feature, first time in new release, right? So feature discovery and uh, adoption. Help beginners become experts. Help experienced users learn new things. Raise awareness of new features and release. So you can do that as well. So new feature is enabled. Encourage best practices. Troubleshooting help. So if somebody or a user is trying to do something and they're stuck, that's called troubleshooting. They are in trouble. They are stuck. And how do I do this, right? So there's a troubleshooting step. User is, of course, user has a question. Deep learning. This is also what we are doing right now. We are going in a, in a deep learning mode through the whole trail that you are going through with me. Give users the skills which you are having and information that need to get as much value as possible out of your production or application. So you, as a user, wants a deeper understanding of a new feature. So to help with that case, Salesforce provide us with components and patterns that looks like this pop ups, you know, help um, step by step guide and so on. So what are the components that are available? So you can see here we have welcome mat, help menu, prompts, popovers, empty state, field level help, setup assistant, walk through. Bas basically, we have quite a lot of things that we can develop or create to help new users and existing users to do their work better, more efficiently. So they will not be lost, right? They will not get overwhelmed. So the first time, I remember the first time I was introduced to Salesforce and it was Salesforce classic. There is no lightning. And there's so many things to click on, so many things to see. I was overwhelmed. So there was a bunch of consultants helping us transition from our previous CRM to Salesforce. And I was seeing them explaining stuff and just, you know, zoned out. I totally blurred out because there is so many things going on on the screen. And the, the fonts are tiny and small and 
what I couldn't I couldn't grasp everything that they are saying explaining right but now Salesforce have evolved they have so many tools to help new users and you know like I'm doing I'm basically helping myself from the past this is Jimmy from the future helping Jimmy in the past which is you so if you are overwhelmed <laughs> with Salesforce what on earth there's so many stuff going on well I'm helping you out I'm actually helping me from the from from the future I'm helping me in the past right so you won't get overwhelmed it's step by step super simple so all these components and and functions are designed and developed to help everybody to understand and to do their work you know without getting overwhelmed without getting so many question marks in their heads so this is what what it's doing so let's bring together what you've learned the scenarios and components so um, if you are doing onboarding this will help you this is how you can read this table if you are doing onboarding you can use welcome mat help menu prompts popovers and walk through if you are doing adoption and discovery you can use these components right if you are doing troubleshooting and somebody helping somebody to unstuck where they're stuck you can use help menu those question marks icons prompts popovers and so on if you are doing deep learning to your power users your um, you know users who are curious and want to learn more so you can do deep learning help them deep learn with these functions okay and then we also discuss about push method and pull method what is the push method push method is you pop it up into their face <laughs> like pop up like this or or it appears on the on the corner of their page here and you force them to see it right so this is a good like uh, to guide them step by step or oh there is a new feature going on teachers now you can actually you know give homeworks to your students and notify the parents at the same time that they have new homework things like that so teachers know oh now we can notify the parent at the same time that's cool so the students will make sure the parents will make sure that the students will do their homework and this is the pull method pull meanings this question mark see this question mark you you are familiar with this right so if you're stuck and oh what is this field for you click on the question mark and it says this field is for grading your student a b c or d <laughs> and so on so there is pull and push pull meaning the user needs to pull information they're stuck they need to pull information out push we the administrator push information onto their faces like boom like that so they know what's what's new what what they can do now where they cannot do it before okay you understand the, the, the difference right and you can use utility bar if you are using surface console which we haven't touched at all so rich text component custom notification Einstein analytics and and so many things right to help you you know get on board and use the most of Salesforce so let's do the quiz together what are the four key user engagement scenarios so this would be this one user engagement scenarios how 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 would you know this is the user engagement scenario there onboarding feature uh, discovery and adoption troubleshooting help and deep learning what you're doing actually right now is deep learning what components can you use for onboarding so how would you know onboarding this table what components you can use you can use this is a recommendation right you can actually do whatever you want but this is a recommendation best practices okay the best practice welcome mat help menu prompts you can do popovers and walk through and for other scenarios adoption you can use this or recommended troubleshooting you can use this deep learning you can use this so onboarding you can use those welcome mat prompts popovers welcome mat prompts and popovers a and c boom there you have it so i'll see you on the next user engagement trail good job mm -hmm.